All right, so I've got a whole bunch of content I need to put together for a couple videos because I've been putting off updates on the bus for way too long. Uh, so I'm gonna do some videos about the bus and then I'm also gonna do some videos that I took while I was in the big island of Hawaii for a friend's wedding. I rented a camper van, drove all around the big island, did some pretty cool stuff, brought my camera drone out there. So hopefully I'll put all those videos together and be releasing a couple, but let's start with some updates on the bus first. All right, now I'm gonna get to my folding deck rail system, but before I get to the rails, let me explain how and why I built my deck. So when I first made my deck, I originally wasn't planning on adding rails at all. And then after having some people up here and someone actually fell off, I thought, okay, I definitely need to add some rails, but I didn't want to do any little small rails. So to start off with the deck, since I wasn't planning on doing rails, I just went with something cheap and easy. I started with a one by four in the center, and as the bus curves out, I went to a two x four, and then I turned a two x four sideways, and then a two x six, and I just cut the bottom here at about a 10 and then a 15 degree angle, so that as I laid a sheet of plywood across, I did three quarter inch treated plywood, and then I actually added an extra layer of treating myself, and then I stapled the turf grass down. Okay, so at each one of these anchor points, anchored at the bottom and I also have a plate anchored here at the top and these flange up to these little connecting spots and I have a pin going all the way through both sides and I just cut the turf grass around and then stapled it down and I'm, and I'm gonna put a little one by one strip to hold the turf grass down while I'm driving so to start with down here I have some little folding clips this bench folds up so that I can get, it, get to those the legs fold down and then the whole bench folds into the side rail so that they all fold flat. All right, so like I mentioned before, this back rail is slotted in on both sides. And then once you pop this rail out, it's just these two side rails that are really holding everything up. But I didn't want everything to be supported by just this slot in rail. So to add some added security, I did a cable system and I just took the little eye loops at the end, which you usually, at, uh, to tie off, make a loop at the end of a cable. I just slotted that into a hole that I drilled so it'll keep the cable from being cut. So I added that on all the spots wherever there's gonna be a load pushed on the cable. So, and then I added this little tightening clamp here in the middle so that I can adjust the tightness of the clamp, adjust the tightness of the cable going all the way around. So no matter which spot I lean on, not only is it being supported by this rail, it's also being tugged by the cable going all the way across to both rails through the anchor points, all the way around here to this middle anchor. And everything is both supported by the cable and the rail so that if I'm taking off the rail, I don't have to worry about the side rails all of a sudden falling out because they're not being held by anything anymore. And as you can see here, even though I only have individual little anchor points between the back and the front rail and the cables, it makes this whole system pretty sturdy so I can climb up and over if I wanted to. All right, I left this little opening for my ladder because there's gonna be another table here and a bench on both sides. So that should cover up all the openings. All right, so to get the whole railing system to fold down flat, I'm gonna start by popping out those back rails and the front rail. And then each one of these little support rails has a pin. So I'm just gonna unclip this little locking part right here, slide the pin out, and then I'm just gonna go around and do all of those and then get the whole rail system to fold down.
So as you can see, the entire rail system folds pretty flat and it's actually lower than my signal boosting antenna here. And when I'm, once I'm done, the front and back rails, I'm gonna drill some slots in so that they will actually hold the whole thing flat. So not that this is gonna go anywhere, but it could potentially bounce around as I'm hitting some hills or potholes or whatever. But yeah, the cables just tuck under, front and back rails will slot in. And then I'm gonna attach these pins to some little cables so that they can hang on to the side to where they go so I don't get them mixed up. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like you saw it only took a couple minutes to completely set up or tear down the entire thing so it doesn't take very long so i think it was worth the effort to have some added safety up here and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions let me know just like youtube is made for i hope you take this idea and improve upon it because i'm sure someone can do this much better than i did as i'm making most of this up as i go all right have a good one i'll see y'all next time